score, Rebels tie the game up at seven. Later on, Jordan Tamu back to pass. He's going to throw deep downfield. It'll find DK Metcalf with the diving catch for the first down. More from Ole Miss later on. Tamu passing again. It's going to find Braylon Sanders on the 30 yard pass and score. It'll tie the game up yet again at 14. Second quarter now, Tamu passing again. He's going to find Elijah Moore downfield for a wonderful catch. He's gone 50 yards for the touchdown. Ties the game yet again at 21. But more from the Rebels. Tamu is going to pass. Look downfield for A.J. Brown. He's going to find him. 38 yards on the catch and score. Rebels with their first lead at 28 to 24 in this game. Back comes Southern Illinois. Strabbed by and Starkville native Raphael Leonard. For a nine yard touchdown, Salukis take the lead again, 31 to 28. But Scotty Phillips with the handoff, he goes six yards in for the score. Ole Miss would trail 38 to 35 at half. The Rebels would pick up momentum in the second and ultimately take the win, 76 to 41. But the Rebels still not completely pleased with today's performance. It's good to be uh, 2 and 0. Uh, I think that's the, that's the most important stat. There's a lot of stats that aren't. I'm not happy with, but that's the one I am. I am happy with the fact that we're two and zero. Oh, um, you know, disappointed in the first half defensively. Um, we didn't come out ready to play. That, that's on me, 100 percent. But very pleased with the uh, the halftime adjustments, outscoring them 41 to three in the second half. I think some guys took these this team, uh, Southern Illinois, for granted. Um, they thought it would just be a breeze, but uh, um, each game is is a tough game and. Um, you just got to do everything 100% no matter what a team you're facing, no matter what opponent, and uh, yeah. That was real huge, you know, uh, getting back home, back in the vault, um, seeing the fans, and you know, next week is a big one, so I know the fans going to come out and support.